Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do beginner ATCs. Now I have a lot of these on my channel and I will link them above, uh, up here or down below for you to check out. Um, but I get this requested so often. Um, so we're going to get getting. Um, but by the way, I want to let you guys know, if you uh, follow somebody on YouTube and you want to look and search their channel for any other, any videos that they might have, if you go to their main page, Next to the about button, about them, there's a little uh, search. And if you click it, it, you can search anything. Like you could put in ATC cards or paint or whatever, and it'll bring up all the videos on their channel from that, just so you know. I know a lot of you are new to YouTube and don't understand how to do that or like to do that. I understand that, but I'm just letting you know um, if you want to check that out. So this is going to be very basic, very beginning. Um, things around the house. I love to recycle and upcycle and all that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to kind of do today. Um, for limited amounts of uh, craft supplies that you have, we're going to go with, this is just a piece of cardstock. It's neon orange, as you can tell. Um, I suggest going to the dollar store. You can find your, uh, some of them sell acrylic paints. And I always tell you guys to do Roy G. Biv black and white, which is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then black and white. Um, and that'll get you going. You can mix a lot of colors from those colors. Um, and those are just the very basics. Um, you can also get cardstock or poster board. I love buying poster board. My store has them for like three for a dollar. And I like to um, measure them all out and then cut them. And you get tons of ATC cards, you know, blanks, which is fun to do, especially as summer's coming for the kids, um, you know, just to sit and, and let them play. Um, also, you can go to your local library or your dollar store or in your, maybe your library at home, your stash of magazines, and you can pull all kinds of different pages and stuff, which I'm going to show you that in a minute. And also books. Um, you can get books from the library that they're throwing out for free, dollar stores, thrift stores, all over the place. And I have some papers here. And I think that's about it. You can use your white school glue. I suggest you uh, just mix it with a little bit of water because um, it's a little thick, but you definitely can use your white school glue, which I will use today because I get that requested quite a bit. But of course you can use your Mod Podge, Collage Podge, Gel Medium, whatever you have. And I think that's about that. And you wanna get, like I said, some paint. So first what we're going to do is measure out our ATC cards. ATC cards are three and a half inches by two and a half inches. And on this piece of paper, I'm going to, we'll do it this way. I'm going to have my ruler and let's measure, put the ruler the right way, Cal. We're going to measure three and a half. And what I like to do is measure it in a, like in a bunch. And I'll show you what that means in a bunch. Cause that's very technical, isn't it? So take your pencil, measure three and a half make a line, go down again, three and a half. And this is for people like me who have, their brains do not compute <laughs> sometimes. Um, sometimes I can't even work my TV, which, hey, the brain fog is real, people. Okay. I think you get the gist of that. And what that does is it gives us a nice line to follow. Let me move in just a bit. La, la, la. Oh, and take our ruler and all you're going to do is line that up the best that you can. Don't get too hung up on measurements because we're having fun and you see how we do that. And then you're going to just take your scissors or if you have one of those cool Fisker cutters, I have that downstairs. I got to bring it up. You can cut a bunch of these at once, which is fantastic. Save this because we can always use it. Turn it this way, sideways now, and now we're going to measure two and a half. And we're going to do the same thing, except we're measuring the uh, length, so or width, whatever way you want to look at it. Maybe put the ruler the right way, Kelly, and then life would be good. So we're going to do two and a half. And I'm going to mark it, and you can keep going down if you want, if you feel like you. It does good for you. And then we're going to measure from this another two and a half. La, la, la. All right. And then one more. 
Right. And what this does is it gives us same thing. Do your best as straight as you can be. I'm not getting hung up on it. And then we cut. Do your best to cut on the line. Not the biggest deal in the world. All right. And you can always straighten them up after you get them done. If you are OCD, I know some people are. Then you can go back and you can see I have a little bit more here to cut. And just cut it till it's straight. Okay? And do all that and you'll have your ATC cards. Now, what I like to do is take a just a color of paint. I am going to use yellow, as you see here, and it's just a uh, light yellow light. It's folk art. And I put that on there. Now, I just like the contrast of the different colors. Maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you don't like the color that you're using. Maybe you're using, I don't know, maybe a bright blue or something. I don't know. But remember, you can use your printer paper. You can use mixed media paper, watercolor paper, Bristol, whatever you have. Um, but maybe you don't want yellow. Maybe you want this orange gone. So all you have to do is take some gesso if you have it and squat it on now. Take your brush and then paint it. And then you'll never know what color you had underneath right? Leave it dry and then you are on your way. Okay. See? No big deal. Make the little blobs go away. I'm not going to take the time to do that right this second because we're going to use this one. I'm going to wipe up my la 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 la. Okay. And then here we go. So now let's think about what we want to do. Well, first I like to lay base down and I'm just going to take a piece of paper. Like I said, this could, this could be out of a book. It could be out of anything that you have um, that you don't read anymore, you know, or like I said, get, this is almost like newspaper likes. You can get a uh, catalog that you get in the mail, whatever. So I'm just going to tear. No, I'm not going to read the, this is like from a dictionary or something. Um, and the word on top is diet, which I'm just not going to pay no attention to. Um, now diffuse, diffusion, digest, let's rip. Not going to worry about it right now. I'm just going to tear into a couple pieces and then I'm going to take my white school glue. I'm going to unscrew it. I'm going to just lay a little bit there because you're not going to need too, too much because you're going to add water too. So it's going to double it. Okay. And we're going to add water. Now my brush is very wet, so that's the water I'm going to add. If you want more, maybe you have a squirter <laughs> and uh, just do that until you get a nice consistency and make sure you take your brush both sides. Now you can see I have a little yellow left in there. I'm not worrying about that right now, but you can see how much more liquid it is. And then I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to put some glue down and it doesn't matter what way or what, what you do. I like to do this and then I'll cut or tear the rest off when I'm done. Put some down here. And just tear, keep tearing. And you could do it this way. We don't have to do it sideways. We can do it whatever way you want. Just make sure you get your glue down. And I like to do it on top. Okay. And then maybe something down here in the corner. And then maybe something up in that corner. Um. I'm going to take right from the middle where there's a lot of, like I said, the text we're not looking to read. <laughs> we're just looking to add some different texture. And I'm going to do like that. I'm going to put some glue. Some glue. I don't know why I say it like I'm singing, but hey. If you're like me and you like to sing, go for it. Now let me tell you something. Let me show you. Maybe I'll do it. 
things. If you're using printer paper, if you're using, you know, a thinner paper, let's say, or even if even with this, as it gets wet, it gets a little flimsy. It's okay. Don't freak out. Take another piece that you cut, right? And then smears your glue all the it, right? La, la, la. Okay, you see how I have my glue everywhere? Get them corners. Then take your piece and set it on there. And, you, you know, do it as even as you can get it. And it's okay. It's a little bigger. It doesn't matter. Because we're going to cut that after. Now you have double. Um, you know, you're a little bit more secure, as they say. Because who doesn't like to be secure? And you can see. And I'm just going to push it in the middle. Just watch if your glue's a little wet. It's going to be sticky and it might pull the paper up it's okay because i don't care it's just add more to it right but listen go to your dollar store and get a package of tissue paper they have glitter they have uh pastel colors you get like all the colors in a package for a buck and this would be a lot of fun to do with that as well so i'm gonna um let this dry maybe i'll dry it with my heat gun and see i just don't want to keep you here i just want to get it enough that i can touch it to cut it so i can show you No, I'm using a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, just leave it sit for five minutes and it'll dry. It doesn't matter. You can go to your thrift store, get hair dryers at my thrift store for a buck or two, and um, use those as your heat gun. Because the, the heat guns that you buy at the store, which you can use a coupon and get at your local uh, craft store, no problem. Um, they're fantastic, but they're for embossing mostly, uh, and they get very hot. You can use your uh, hair dryer just as good. Um, and, and it, you know, it dries just the same. So what you're going to do while, I'm, while you're cutting this, maybe you're thinking my next thing, what are you going to do? Spray some more water and just leave it sit. And that's going to help keep it moist. Moist is like the worst world word in the world. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. So I'm just going to go and cut where I can see that rest of my, um, paper is. And if you look, you can see the edge where that, cardstock is that is too big that I put on as the second and that's okay we're just gonna nip it off da, da, da. right now you have these little pieces here and guess what you can save them and use them in a collage which is a lot of fun maybe I will do that and do a video doing some collage with scraps because that's what I love to do all right so now you see and I have some glue here oh those of you who say, I can't make YouTube videos, I'm nervous. Do you see? I'm a mess. It's okay. <laughs> I have fun doing it. A handful of people like to watch me, and that makes me happy. Okay, so you can see now, and the word digestive, which is quite appropriate uh, for me today. But uh, look, so we got our first. No, actually, that's our second layer. Our first layer is the yellow. But look, now we have our base on there. Some glue. And we are ready to go. What are we going to do next? Well, let's layer something else. Okay. I like to do stuff around the house, like I said. So I'm going to take <laughs> masking tape, which you don't have to do, but I'm going to add a layer. I'm just pulling it. It could be painter's tape, masking tape. And what I like to do, because it's easy for me to tear, is I like to tear it. And I like to lay it. Because, you know, I like to lay. And I'm going to lay it going opposite. Because I like that. And I'm going to turn it the opposite way, right? Where I ripped it. No big deal. And, yes, this is becoming part of our ATC. Maybe you have, uh, well, can't tear that because it's too small. Maybe you have uh, scotch tape or, you know, whatever. It's about being you, boo. Being you. All right. One more, I think, right there. And this is just going to add texture. So if you don't have molding paste, modeling paste, texture paste, um, okay, you can get off me now. This is just going to give you just a little bit of texture. And tear that off of there. Tear it off of there. And maybe you want to lay this instead of wasting. And you can crumble it up if you want. 
and make it, uh, you know, a little bumpy. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. So now we're going to take another paintbrush. Excuse my arm. I am going to change this. It's called being lazy right now. All right. So let's do a color. Now, what color do we want to do? It's not really going to matter because, you know, we're just putting it on there. How about, do we want to go, see, I love like grungy kind of looks. I know a lot of you don't like when I do grungy, but I do like the grunge. But I think I'll go, let's try some, uh, this is red. This is Martha Stewart satin in habanero. But of course, use whatever color you want or whatever red you have. It does not matter. And I'm going to take just a squeeze. Look at that squeeze. That ain't much of a squeeze, Cal, but it's a squeeze. And I'm going to give it a squirt because the squeeze and the squirt is always enjoyable. I'm just leaving it there for Kathy Spires and all them. Okay, so I'm going to do like this and do like this. Now, let me tell you guys something. If you guys make any of my art, like follow anything, make ATC cards, make any of the uh, art journal pages that I have, and anything, 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 tag me. All my information is down below. I'm on Facebook, Facebook. <laughs> God, that dirty mind's going. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Google, uh, whatever. You can tag me or you can email me. My email is down below as well. Um, look, and we're just going to drag it. I'm not even pulling a lot. Just make sure it's down there. I'm just going to get some of that texture. Um, yeah, so you can send it to me an email or tag me on any of those. And, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting your, it's a great way for promotion for you guys to get promoted on your channels as well. And I'm going to put pictures and your names at the end of my videos, giving you guys shout outs, showing what you've done in, um, being inspired by me. I know that sounds very full of myself and I don't mean it that way, but I think you guys know what I mean. Um, I love seeing when you guys, uh, send me stuff, you know, and the pictures and all that you do like mine. So I like it. So I'm going to, you know, I want to show others too. So, all right. So you can see that's what I'm kind of doing. Just a tap in. Now I'm going to take paper towel and look, when you're using your paper towel, save it, right? Because look at all the delicious colors that we'll get. And it gets to be a beautiful background that we'll use in another uh, video, which I will show you later in another video. So if you want to be, and you're not already, please subscribe. The subscribe button's down below. Click the bell next to it so you can get notified. And uh, i got a lot of videos coming up. My goal this week is to be very productive. Okay, so you see we have that now. Now here's what I love to do after this. I'm going to rinse my brush. All right, and I'm going to dry it. I want it dry. Dry it, dry it, dry it. And I'm going to take some black, let me use, do I want black paint or a marker? Hmm. All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this marker. Now, if this is a watercolor marker, which you definitely can use, um, this is a uh, Faber-Castell and it's permanent. You can use a Sharpie, uh, any kind of markers that you have. But you see, I just used my brush wet there. And what I'm going to do is drag it. And it's going to pick up. You're still going to see some of that red. Yeah. And it's going to, if you really go on the edge of those, the tape that you put, you're going to see. It really stick out. And you can use coat. I mean, you can use whatever you have. We're not, you know, and it's just a little scribble. It's not a big deal. And you can do this any color you want. I just really want to make those edges stick out. Because why blend in when you can stick out? Right? Right? Am I right? Okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just dry this real quick. And the reason I dry it is because I don't want any colors to, you know, to smear. 
look how cool that background is. We've used, used nothing. We've used one color, you know, uh, paint. We used a marker. We used book text and tape. Come on now. All right. So now let's get to these. I'm going to move this. I'm going to scoot this this way. I'm going to put that in the water. I'm going to wipe up this red just because I don't want to, I'm not going to move the paint, but I mean the glue, but I'm putting the paint on here and look how cool that's looking so far. Cause you know, I, I love me doing the art quilts and I use a lot of that. All right. So let's look now. I just picked a few pages out of a magazine that I had sitting here, a couple magazines actually. And, um, this has words on it. So what I'm going to do, and I'm sure you guys have seen this many times. Um, people do this, you know, you just cut out words, all the different words and the set, you know, the sayings. And, uh, this is a picture of a blood orange, which isn't doing anything for me. Um, but all kinds, let's see what we can use on this one. Mm -hmm. Now I love this get inspired. So I'm going to set this right here. Did I do this for recipes or for... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never know with me. Ah, that's what I loved the heart. I love the heart. And I love the words. Virginia is for lovers just to put lovers. So, but that's another, that's going to be another one. Look at this. Oh, that's looking really good for me. Oh, look at that. Ooh. And this is only a few, I think I might've done this for the recipe. Don't ask with me. You all know I'm a mess. I don't know. I did this too. Why do they always have to have the backs? Okay, but you see good mood. That's a good, there's good words on there. Hey, my scalp is flaky. Do I have dandruff? Well, that wasn't what I pulled that out for. Or the skin on my neck looks saggy. What the heck is that? <laughs> Excellence. I know my light's blowing that out. Excellence, right? Love it or we'll eat it. That's, mm-hmm. But I did that. And then I don't know what the heck I did that, but I think, and then there's this, look at this, look at this cat. Oh, just so many. And I did that for recipes as well. Okay. Continue on Kel. All right. What we're going to do, <laughs> I get so sidetracked. We are going to take, I'm going to take a piece of this. And I think what I'm going to do, if I'm looking at this, and I'm like, oh, okay, I really dig all this, but then on the back I dig it. Well, what piece can I take from here that won't really affect that back side? Which who knows? I'm just cutting. And what I'm going to do is cut that because I really like it. But it's going to be obviously too big. So I'm going to cut it in half and then cut. I like that. See, I've got nothing on there from the other side. Only a little bit there, but I might use that to my benefit. We shall see. And I'm going to start gluing this on. I don't want it everywhere, but I do want to go over digestive. I just want some of it. So what happens is that background that I did, as delicious as it was, gets pushed in the back and then this is coming to the front. So we're just going to kind of really get that glued on. And then I'm going to do that. Go this way. Oh, I didn't take all that white off there. And I'm going to stick this on like that. Stick it on whatever way you want. It's yours. And this one I'm just going to take. I'm going to save that. I'm going to take a fin right there. And I just want to kind of take it like this. Okay. I know, bizarre, but okay. All right, so you see how we have that? Now look at it. What way do you think it looks the best to you? Like this, like this, oh, without the light, like this, 
You figure, huh? I kind of dig it like that. Then I'm going to take Get Inspired. And I'm going to cut it out. Now you can be very fancy and if you're a good cutter, right, you can definitely be, you know, really get in here and, and cut it so it's like perfection and I'm, I'm not a fussy cutter. I, I fuss but not about cutting, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just going to do Kelly's fussy cutting. There, Kelly fussy cut. But it's going to be too big, so I'm going to have to do it this way, which I'm okay with that. You got to sometimes work with it, right? Go with the flow, as they say, which I'm not really good at doing, but that's why I love art. Because art starts out as one thing sometimes and ends up a completely different thing. So there we go. Now you can see, unfortunately, excuse my arm. I didn't see, I didn't think about, oh, it's going to be too dark on there. So we'll fix that in a second. But I'm going to glue this down. And then I'm going to take my heat gun. Hold on to it with your scissors if you don't want to burn yourself. Blow all the papers away. We're just getting it, you know, basically dry. Okay. Then what we're going to do, we're like, oh, geez, look at that. We're going to take a little bit of white. And this is just wicker white. I'm going to take it out the cap because that's just how I roll. I'm going to take a little brush. Use a Q-tip. Use your finger. Use the bag. It doesn't matter. Use what you have. Q-tips work out really good. You can get them at the dollar store, like the nice pointy ones um, that they use for, you know, makeup, whatever. You can use, you know, whatever you have. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just the littlest bit and I'm going to go around and tap it. Kind of like I'm highlighting the words. And then I'm going to go in with my finger and just tap it a bit just to kind of make it highlighted. And when you use a magazine, what's nice is that the uh, because it's glossy, if you accidentally get a little bit on there and you want it off, you just take it off. A bit more. Any color you want. You don't have to use white. I just want it to show up. A little bit of water if you want it, just to kind of thin it out a bit. It's up to you. Now you could use black, but because black was our background, I just chose not to. Let me see how we got. I'm going to wet my brush one more time and just clean up anything up there. Anywhere where my fingers that don't like to move out of the way of things get. And like I said, because it's glossy on there, it's going to be a little bit better for us. Yeah, and that's about all I really need. Just do this before you dry it. So you don't, uh, yeah. And you see? Once that's dry, if you want to take your brush again, dry it off real good. Don't have any water on it because you got a little bit of water in here. You can take this. Do yourself another coat. Make sure everything's dry underneath. I 
knock this over. Now, if you have a little glitter or what color we got? We got some red under there. I don't have red, but I'll have some pink. I don't know. Roll with me here. And you could just put a little bit of glitter. Just a little bit, just to add a little sparkle. God, I love glitter. I walk around with more glitter on me. You know, kind of scooch it around and give it a tap. And there you go. Look at that, how pretty. Let's see if my light will really show you. Look at the sparkles. Yes. And that is an ATC card. That's it. Now, let me, because I will end up with this all over me. Now, I'm putting the glue on here, and I'm going to have to wipe my thing off later. But what it does is it picks up all the sparkle and all. And um, when I go to, what I'll do is I'll leave it dry out like this, but it makes it a little hard so I can use it for fabric for whatever I'm using. But look, look at this. Hello, hello. Now, if you have a black Sharpie or paint or whatever, you can go around and you can, you know, kind of make edges. You know how you do, so it's a little more um, structured on the, you don't have to do this, but I'm just saying. And there you go. I am so excited. Look how pretty. All from stuff that you have at home. If you're starting out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and want to see more. I have art journaling coming up that you guys have been asking for. I have um, clay. I have all kinds of stuff. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And also, listen, you know how I put the glitter on there. If you have Mod Podge Extreme Glitter or Sparkle or you want to put some of the glitter in your white school glue, you can do the same thing and it's already on there. So that makes a, you miss a step. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And like I said, please share me around like I'm your loose friend. I'd really appreciate it. You guys are the best. I love you. Be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Can't remember if I said that, but regardless, love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.